A man of action, Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart preferred to settle problems by fighting rather than talking. This led to some initial difficulty in his relationship with the doctor. As time went on, however, they became very close friends. The fact that all of the doctor's incarnations went to his funeral further shows how close they were. The brigadier was charming, but professional and serious, being unwilling to take nonsense from others, although sometimes displaying an acerbic wit of his own. He was frequently exasperated by the fourth doctor's rather childish personality, and often argued with his predecessor due to the third doctor's preference of solving problems with science rather than weapons and was more than willing to come out of retirement to assist him when he heard the doctor was back. Prior to this discovery, he had refused to come out of retirement no matter what. The third doctor once called the brigadier a pompous, self-opinionated idiot, although he apologized later. Indeed, the two enjoyed a strong friendship despite their differences. The brigadier could be ruthless and, in one of his earlier adventures with the doctor, he committed an act that the doctor considered to be murder when he ordered Corporal Nutting to wipe out the Silurians, despite the brigadier informing the doctor about having no intention of harming the Silurians. He later displayed regret for this action. The brigadier was a natural skeptic in his early years and was disbelieving of the TARDIS and the doctor's regeneration ability, but, as he grew older and his understanding of the doctor and the universe grew, he became less skeptical. Loyal and determined, the brigadier was dedicated to protecting the Earth, but under the doctor's influence he learned that violence wasn't always the best solution, and became more willing to negotiate with his enemies, although he still wouldn't hesitate to open fire on them if the situation demanded it. He passed this belief on to his daughter, who eventually turned UNIT into a largely non-violent organization. His love for his daughter, as well as his sense of duty for his country, allowed him to break from his cyber conversion when reanimated as a cyberman by Missy. The brigadier was a natural leader and easily capable of taking charge, as shown by his rank as well as his actions. And the twelfth doctor stating that the brigadier would never be anywhere but by his side when Earth and the doctor faced their darkest day. Even in his later years following his retirement, the brigadier remained a formidable presence although he did possess a more sentimental side. He was willing to sacrifice himself to save the doctor and even knocked out the doctor's seventh incarnation to protect him while he stood up to the destroyer with the words, get off my world. The brigadier's last wish was to meet the doctor one last time, telling many stories of his old friend and ask the nurses to always pour an extra brandy in case he came to visit. The brigadier had gotten his wish, as the curator often visited him, with the brigadier only claiming his daughter was his only visitor to get her to visit more. The brigadier again got his wish after being reanimated as a cyberman by Missy. After the cyber-converted brigadier resisted his programming by saving his daughter and killing the master, the doctor, recognizing him by his actions, looked towards him and gave him a long-awaited salute. The brigadier returned the salute, and then flew away.